The skin is the largest organ in the human body. The skin covering an average adult has a surface area of about 1.5 square meters and a mass of about 12 kilograms, including the hypodermal fat layer. It protects the body against mechanical damage, UV radiation, and pathogens. Its keratin layer prevents it from drying out. It also plays an important role in temperature regulation. The skin is our largest sensory organ. Its receptors sense heat, cold, and mechanical stimuli. Skeletal muscles are major organs of locomotion. There are about 350 skeletal muscles in the human body, making up 50% of body mass. There are long, short, flat, and ring-shaped muscles. Muscles are attached to the bones by tendons. The skeleton of an adult human consists of 206 bones. Bones are rigid and flexible at the same time in order to carry a large amount of weight. Bone metabolism is slow, so bones heal slowly. A broken bone takes at least six weeks to heal. To prevent osteoporosis, a proper daily intake of calcium, 1,500 milligrams for adolescents, must be ensured. The digestive system is responsible for the digestion and absorption of nutrients. Food is crushed in the mouth by the teeth. Digestion of carbohydrates can then begin. Proteins are digested in the highly acidic stomach. Then, in the small intestine, all three types of nutrients, that is, proteins, further hormones. These hormones stimulate other endocrine glands, the thyroid gland, the adrenal gland, and the reproductive glands. The pancreas is not regulated by the hypothalamic pituitary axis. Lymph is the fluid found in the interstitial spaces, also known as the tissue spaces. It is produced from blood, by osmosis, through the walls of capillaries. Metabolic products are also drained in the lymph. Lymph is carried into the subclavian vein by lymph vessels while passing through the lymph nodes. Pathogens carried by the lymph meet white blood cells living in the lymph nodes, which is important for the operation of the immune system. Other important lymphatic organs include the thymus, the spleen, and the tonsils. They also play an important role in the maturation of white blood cells and in immune defense. Genitalia are responsible for reproduction. They produce gametes. During fertilization, the egg unites with a sperm, and they form a zygote from which the embryo develops. The reproductive glands in females are the ovaries, which contain immature eggs, or ova. In each menstrual cycle, one of the eggs matures and is released from the ovary into the fallopian tubes. Fertilization takes place here.